All right. Well, this is a Sandcast Beach Volleyball, doing a little grass volleyball episode today. Uh, beach Volleyball with Triborn and Travis Mawerder. And today we got uh, the Worsley brothers. We got Joe and Gage Worsley. And if you haven't been on Instagram, then then you wouldn't know. But uh, absolute studs from Wapaka this past weekend. Um, was a blast playing against you guys and way more fun to just watch and not try to have to, to pass anything that you guys were dishing. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, fellas? Thank you for letting us so much. On. Yeah, ha- glad to be here. This is this is awesome. Thanks for having us on. Yeah, thanks you, for coming on. Uh, you had Travis running in circles out there. <laughs> <laughs> you know the, the dual the dual lefty combo. We no other team had that, so we were uh, we had a game plan a little bit it was, it was, it was on two balls that come yeah. over. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Because I had crossed the court one time and I saw, like, I remember you were setting, you hit a quick on two ball. I'm like, oh, snap, we got to be ready for that. <laughs> just kind of split. It makes my life a lot harder right in the back. I wish I was a lefty. That's one thing. I w- I've always, you, you, I'm a setter. I would love to just boom on two. There are a few times where he tried to do that. It didn't work out so well. <laughs> <laughs> I have Sorry. not existed. Well, you, you do all right up front as a righty, Joe. <laughs> you do okay. Yeah, it's just tough. I, I like attacking. Everybody, all my hitters know that I like <laughs> turning and going on too. <laughs> but it's harder as a right hand hitter for sure. So. Hey, well, when uh, when Dalton went out, then it was your time to shine. Coach is setting you a couple of quickies yeah. out of the middle. <laughs> so, yeah, we're actually we're uh, we we're saying this we're quarantined right now. We got back from Wisconsin. We want to be sure uh, we're gonna go through like two tests here before we go back home and we're quarantined with our coaches. Uh, with our coach here, he's in the room with us. The legend, nice. but everybody who is at Wapaka knows Luke uh, the legend. Luke the legend. Dude, <laughs> that, coach that story. <laughs> he came in uh, in the quarterfinal, and we yeah, were in, in his back rooms, kind of like closed off, um, quarantining. And yeah, he was the one. He came and saved the day for us, like you yeah. said. Oh yeah. yeah. So Try wasn't there. Give uh, give Try kind of a rundown of of what yeah. happened in the quarter. Yeah, we, we posted the quarterfinal match actually on our YouTube and we did a little explanation, but we'll go a little more into it. So Dalton Solbreak, he was our middle of Hawaii. He was our third the whole day. He was playing awesome the entire day. For a middle, he was receiving absolutely underneath. He was serving super well. And the third set, there was like a altercation at the net. And I didn't see what happened. I just remember uh, we lost the point, I think. And I turned around to my brother, he was in the back. And I was talking to him and I turned around and Dalton was on the ground. I'm like, I didn't see anything happen. When I walk over and he's not well, and you look at his ankle, it's like a softball. You look at it like, and it was literally like the size of a softball. Um, Within like thirty yeah, seconds. Yeah, he, he went to the doctor's office today. We're not exactly sure what uh, what the diagnosis was, but yeah. like right away we're like, Dalton, you should not be playing. Like no matter what, like it's not worth it. You have to you have to make sure like that you don't further injure it. And like last minute, we added Luke Lau. He's a uh, one of our good buddies, and he's coaches here at our family's club here. Used to be a professional, yeah. Uh, and uh, he, grass player, he got a last so. minute like no kidding. He booked a fight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He did. Awesome. And, he, <laughs> and so he booked, he booked he booked a flight, and we're like, all right, we just put him on the roster as our fourth guy, so he could be on our sideline. And just in case anything happens, we need to have a fourth. Yes, Actually, the real the real reason why I him is because he's like one of those. I mean, and he looks great for being fifty two years old, fifty three. He moves like fifty four <laughs> years old. My bad, my bad. And wow. uh, um. We're like, okay, we need one of those kind of a hole people in case we get an altercation with the side of the like no business. He'll back right? up the boys. He always backs up the boys. Yeah, he did like that. And there were a few times where we definitely he's like just yelling for the side of the or just yelling at people. Um, and so, we're like, that's what we get. That's the real reason we brought yeah. him. And and I help coach because like I said, he, he knows the grass. Right? Yeah. Back to the story. We're like, all right, Luke, you're ice. Uh, he's like, all right, I need to warm up. I'm like, I need to warm up too. I haven't hit the entire day. So I was out there just trying to pa- – I can't pass it. I have no platform. So I'm like, just serve it my hand, hopefully. <laughs> and I'm like, major pass, I'm like 75% of the court. If it comes on my side, <laughs> I'm, I'm taking that. That's the only thing I'm passing. <laughs> and, uh, and we go, and we like – it was 7-4 when he came. we were up in the third set. It gets to 12-12, and the other team is like super confident at this point. And we're like, frick. And we just kind of go like three straight points, boom, boom, boom. And then we, it, the match was over so fast. Um, and Luke on match point comes in, he steps in, he serves the ball and he tries to run in the net, doesn't get there in time, so he's like backpedaling off and I'm like blocking the whole net by myself and I like just get out and uh, I think Cody Caldwell, yeah, hits cross court and Luke just boom, scoops him, just lips him straight up, perfect dig and I set him for the kill. We all jumped on Luke, we all fired up. Luke's like, <laughs> I think we got this on camera too. 
And it was like, we were like yelling. I was like, man, it feels like we just won the whole thing. We just, we just won the quarterfinals. <laughs> and then it started cramping up. And we're like, all right, well, now we have to play doubles the rest of the tournament. So, but the tournament director let us go. And uh, you had to go. You had to, yeah, so, yeah. yeah we, had to, like, we had to find somebody that hadn't played all day. Uh, and so, like, obviously, anybody who's at that tournament who hadn't played all day probably wasn't in the best condition to be playing. <laughs> <laughs> like, they probably been doing some other extra activities <laughs> up to that point. <laughs> Every, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <little bit. laughs> exactly. So, anyone were asking, like, yeah. Yeah, we're not in any condition. Of I remember one time, Joe, <laughs> the first time, because I didn't realize, because I remember I, I saw Joe looking, just walking. So he's a championship court, and Joe's like two, a court down, like in the middle of the crowd, just like, looking at me. Like, and while the other, while the other team was in the semis. And I remember I look, and I walk up to him, like, what's in explain? I was like, oh, snap. And in the middle of me asking, he was talking to this one guy who was just like, like talking like, like this. I'm like, I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm like, are you sober right now? He was like, mm. Mm. I'm like, no, we can't play with this guy. <laughs> so then, so then, about, and then I kind of like two or three people down, I see, I'm like, oh, that's my, I know that guy. And his name is Chris Schaefer, and that's the guy I picked up. Yeah. And we go up to him. And I'm like, and I recognize him because I played him. I'm a, going to my senior year of high school. And from my sophomore year of club, his senior year of club, we played him. And he was on uh, loans. <laughs> like, this guy was pretty good when he was back. Then. So, like, it's, 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 and I go up to him. And I think I recognized him by first thing because I remember his name. I don't remember if we followed each other on Instagram at the point. Yeah. That point, but I remember him. I'm like, Chris, can you play? Have you played grass? He's like, no, I haven't. I was like, are you sober right now? He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm good. I'm like, all right, you're in the semi. <laughs> so then we get him on the court. And then. We get blo- – we play – who's it? Uh, like, the local legends. That team is freaking people. good. Yeah, they yeah. were – we were going – early. And we go in, and well, – well, one thing we Joe didn't mention is that we had to get their permission. They could have said no, and our Luke, our coach, could have had to play. We had to yeah. get the permission to go pick up someone else. That was cool that they, that they let it yeah. happen then. Super nice guys. Uh, yeah. Even yeah, uh, they during were, and uh, – phenomenal guys. Yeah, they were just like, oh, we just want to, like, have a good yeah. match. Like, we're also playing doubles, basically, yeah. at that point. And yeah. – right. And so, so we go, and then we just get to destroy the person, like 21-13 or the 21-14, around there. And I know, like, I played great. Um, Chris was not his best either. <laughs> like, we're like, oh, this is going to be hard. Right, <laughs> and um, but by the end of it, we actually um, – by the end of the first set, we started running me on the two ball. Because uh, I hit better on the left than on the right. Like, way – even though I'm a lefty, I can just see better. I was an out. I lefty on the left is just weird. Like, people don't see it much. Yeah. Yeah, it's in, in like, I don't know, I can just do a lot more weird stuff and I can just yeah. see the blocker more. Just kind of, it's just weird like that for me, I guess. Um, but Chris eventually later is like, yeah, it's like, boys, I was not sober that game. <laughs> I was, I've dropped a tequila deep and, <laughs> and a, a, what was it? A, a seltzer in there. And, um, but I remember he told me, he, we didn't see this, but he was like chugging water in between the games. Like, I'm so drunk. <laughs> and uh, we end up winning in three and then we go to the finals and I guess the rest is history there. I mean, it was, it was crazy. It was nice. Yeah. You guys uh, pulled off one of the biggest feats in, in that you had the crowd going for you guys instead of the Baumgrens. They're like local legends down there. Yeah, That's like, heard, heard. like the whole crowd try was going for these guys instead of the Baumgrens, which is like, that's, that's impressive feat. <laughs> yeah. I remember people were like, I remember that uh, uh, <laughs> after, so, so we, so we we got a buy, we had a first round buy and then yeah. we we're wait, all teams. So 64 teams total in playoffs. The beginning. It was huge. 32, 32 teams. No, because yeah. no, we started in the round of 32. We had our first like round 40 buy. Teams, I know. Or around there. It was around then. Um, so we were in the round of 32 automatically. We had a first round buy. And then we start winning. Because people were like, oh, like they're here. Like, it's going to be good. And then as we got progressively more in the playoffs, like, like, oh, crap. Like, oh, crap. Well, they didn't use that exact word. But <laughs> right. There's like, only oh. one guy there who, who believed that we could win from the start. Who was that? Even Luke, Except our, co- our coach was down there. <laughs> <laughs> but to be honest, our – Luke, yeah. he he comes to tournaments and he'll just say stuff just to get us pissed off. Just get, like in beach tournaments, we won an open two years ago, like the last beach tournament we played. It's because he would just say stuff because he knows it gets us going. <laughs> and the day was where he's like, yeah, he's like, I, I don't think we really have a shot. He was tough. And so that pissed us off a little bit. Yeah. And Jalen Reyes was there and he was the only one who believed in us from the start. So I have to give a and shout out to him. Matt, and then and then the more we went, like after our round of 32, we started, we were just, so our, so our game plan was, uh, you're telling me, our game plan was to, uh, to just like bomb, sir. Because we, yeah. can't, we can't block very well. <laughs> we can dig a little bit. 
we got one thing going for us. It's our back row defense, that's our serves. We're just going to bomb serves. And people are like, you guys miss a lot of serves. I'm like, yeah, but we get on a run. It's like, it's fine. And you, but in order to do that, you have to side out really, really well. Luckily, I don't know. I mean, I'm not trying to ring my own bell here, but a lot of people try to serve me a lot of the time. I don't know why that was their game plan, but it worked out in our favor. Um, yeah. <laughs> they have a middle pass. And he, Dalton's actually not a bad passer, but – I'd probably take me in a passing contest. Me and yeah. him. Well, you would have named like the best passer in the nation. Like, <laughs> yeah, I was fun. like, all right, sweet. There was one team that tried to keep serving my sideline. I was like, all right, keep it there. I like that. Like, the more the better. <laughs> but then as we go in, we're like, oh, snap, oh, snap. Like, you, you guys have to have a shot. You have a shot. You have a shot. And then after uh, we get a drunk Chris Schaefer in Blue <laughs> Loud, they're like, in the semis, we get people like, you're still our favorites. I'm like, what are really? really? Like, are you sure about that? <laughs> Are you sure about that? Like, a big I, guy just went down. It was like a big guy. Like, we got to – all right, thanks for the support, I guess. <laughs> and, like, the, the bongers were done. Like, they were already in the finals. They won their matches probably an hour, hour and a half before we – Our first we set in the quarters went 39-37. And so that just set us back. And we lost that set. Yeah. And then, like, the three-quarter semi. So we were just, like, back – we had to play back-to-back-to-back to back to back because we just – we were running late, and we had to jump on the next court play again. Jump on the next court play again. Yeah. So we were, by the finals, we were just like, if we went to three again, because in the finals, the second set we were up by a lot, dude. And they went on a run late. They made a little like, run at the end. <laughs> like, come on, we <laughs> Joe, Joe, no way we can go to three. <laughs> Joe turns to me, he's like, Gage, we're up. Was it thirteen twenty? Fourteen twenty? I was like, I will literally set you six balls in a row. You better. Put it down. <laughs> I said, I said. I don't care if you could block straight down six three balls. Swing at every single ball. And, <laughs> And I remember at the end, you can see us serving. Because we posted our, our semis was actually a really, really crazy game. But our, we, we bring eight batteries, and they all died. That's how long our games were. Like, that's how long our games were. Yeah. And so we have the quarters in the final, final so you can guys, but you can't see the semis. But um, what was I saying? Oh, crap. What was I saying? Oh, end, I can't remember end, what I was saying. End of the Bombards? Oh my god, I, that's the first time I really kind of forgot where I was going with this. <laughs> All that was in our game was like super, super long, and uh, our game plan was just kind of bomb serves. That was like, the yeah, idea. it'll come to me later, I think. It was, it was funny because so we played, I, I guess, the team that we played before you guys had made the semis last year, and I was like, damn, like. That we never had a break with serving, and then we played you guys, and I was like, "That was the easiest serving team I've ever played." Compared, to <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, like I said, was I mean, even in the beach, like when we go on the beach. First of all, that net rule it helped us passing, yeah. but like it was like serving. I was like, "Dang!" Oh, that's what I was gonna say. By the end of the finals, you can see us. We're literally jumping this high on our jumps. <laughs> like my legs, I was oh, trying to. Right, I was yeah. like, and I was yeah. like cramping by the first set of the finals. I was like cramping pretty bad. Um. But luckily, my boy, they served Chris. That was the first team that really that kind of really targeted my other partner. Yeah. Um, Chris, and luckily, we picked up. He sobered up. Good, he was a good passer. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, um, he was just good by then. And uh, I just had to hit two balls in the middle. So it just made him life a lot easier. But, yeah, that was, that was our game plan. Yeah. Wait, I'm, I'm curious. Why did you start running around to the right at the end of the bomb? Because you had sided out like 100% in the final, and then the last couple of plays you just kept doing that little yeah. back quick to the right. I knew it was, it was wide open. I missed the one down the line. And, and the I other did, thing is – I did a couple of dumb They kept trying to line Troy up, Troy Field up on my brother, and make it, he was serving. So we thought that he was just going to like sprint straight to the middle because my brother right. was there. And th- so we thought we might get okay, an open get, Okay. He had a pretty good look that he missed oh. outside the line. <laughs> I saw hey, you looking for the – you were like, no, 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 I tagged it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I told him – after that first one, I told him again, and I just – it was another line shot. There, that's the thing on the right side. I was like – sometimes it was hard for me to see the, the line. Like, there's times where I should have gone line and cross. Yeah. Like, I, there's way more weird stuff I can do with the two ball or on, the, like, the three slot kind of. Um, so, it just kind of worked out. And I don't think that really, like I said, it's really seen a lefty that can kind of whip it kind of each way. Yeah. And luckily, I've been saving my arm for two years. <laughs> <laughs> we got to tell Charlie Wade at Hawaii. No, he everyone says – no, everyone's like, play outside. I'm like, we have good enough outsides, and I'm, I'm trying – I'm going to stick with Libero here. <laughs> like, yeah. no way. You've been saving that arm for – just for Wapaka. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, they're just calling here, and I'm waiting for it. <laughs> There's a higher purpose for this arm. <laughs> You guys like – go ahead, try. No, I was just saying, at least you got an argument now. You throw out that, that footage to Charlie Wade at right, just at the right moment, and, and maybe you got a shot. I mean, that's the thing. 
I, mean, I, I don't know with a 29 man roster now. <laughs> we'll oh, see about that. Yeah, <laughs> it's, pretty it's, large. Huge roster. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be, yeah. I don't even know what's going on. I, I got off the phone with Charlie today. We're all just like, we don't know what's going on. Right? Yeah. It's all up in the air right now. Yeah. So I, don't even know, I don't even know when I'm going back. I'm going to be honest. I really don't. Yeah, and Hawaii's been like super quarantined. Like no one's been allowed in. Yeah. And there's probably and that's the thing. It's like, I mean, there's probably gonna be another spike with sports. I mean, so it's gonna shut everything down again. So it's like gonna be, I don't yeah. know. Plus, yeah. universities have to be extra careful. Like, yeah. yeah. Obviously, the pro tour got to like modify things so that they could actually run something because we're yeah. running the AVP yeah. the next three weekends. But a university has to like check all the boxes and be careful about every little thing and. Yeah. Yeah. Even, yeah, even like professionals, they like, I mean, they know what they're signing up for and the risks and everything, but it also is their lifestyle. Like, the, uh, it's like, that's how they make, a lot of these people are making money for like these months, yeah. so they almost have to play. And I think some people don't under, understand that. Like, why would they go out and play? It's like, well, some of these people need, this is what they, their whole year they're training where they need this income. It's diapers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, we're, we're playing for diaper money this weekend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, you guys, well, Joe, are you uh, are you going back to Germany anytime soon, or is that kind I, of up in the air too? I just got a call this morning. They, I'm gonna be flying out August second. Okay. Uh, and I have to quarantine six days. Um, six days. You have to sit there was some trouble, for six though. days. There was some trouble. Yeah. There, there was rumors though that a lot of in Germany. I know a lot of guys in Poland and Italy. I was talking. Because even TJ was there last weekend, and I was talking yeah. to him. I think he's going back this week. Um, but the, those two countries, it was easier for them to get in. in Germany. They were being a little tougher. I know there's some clubs they can't even get the visas for their guys. And at this time, if you don't have a visa, there's no way they let you in the country. Right. Um, <laughs> and so they, my club was able to get me a visa. They're going to get me in on August. So I fly out August 2nd, get there the 3rd. I have to sit in my apartment for six days. I have to take two tests within that time period. Test negative on both. Similar to what we're doing this week. We're taking two tests just to be yeah. safe. Um, and if I test negative, then I'm good to go, and I'm able to train on the 10th. So as long as everything goes as planned, uh, we'll see. I don't know. It's, it, but it's just a crazy world. Because you don't know, like, uh, in, with a league like Germany, um, like, a lot of – I don't know how many people or what people know about the leagues, but a league like Germany, they need that attendance to be able to fund some of the clubs they have. It's not like in Poland or Italy where they have – like TV different deals and stuff where they could afford maybe, I mean, no, I mean, it'll, every, any club will struggle, but especially in Germany, there's a, there's a, the smaller clubs will struggle to stay if they don't allow fans in and they don't have that income. So it'll be interesting to see how the season goes. Cause we're supposed to have 11 teams starting, but the league hasn't decided if they want to allow in fans starting off. And I, I just don't see it being able to survive if there's no fans. Yeah. For the season. Well, I guess in Europe they're running. Uh, the CEV is running. I, I keep seeing highlights from uh, the beach volleyball tour out there. So I don't. Maybe it's a little bit more under control. Or I mean, they're running sports, which is more than the yeah. US can say. No so fans yeah. Are, yeah, there's no fans at those events. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah, and it's just interesting, like, because they can run the events, but I mean, at the end of the day, they need to be able to fund them. I don't. I don't know right. how long you can go without being able to fund it. So. Yeah. Or have just some sort get of creative. Fund. Are you uh, – are you, so Dalton's in Germany too, right? He just signed a contract out there? Yeah, Dalton just signed. Uh, he's up at Lüneburg, which is up by Hamburg, northern okay. Germany. We're on, like, opposite sides of the country. Okay. I'm, I literally live, like – I walk out – last year I walked out of my apartment and the Swiss Alps right there. I'm, like, right on the border of Switzerland. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah, no, yeah, it's super sweet. Um, and so I live right on the southern border. He lives at the northern uh, part of Germany. And so uh, it's cool that we'll play each other. There's a lot of guys I know in the German League this year. Um, I know a lot of them Amer- in Germany, you always see a lot of Americans there. So, uh, yeah, I'm super excited to get back and I hope everything kind of gets rolling because there's just still so much uncertainty. We're supposed to be in champions league, but I don't see how they run champion, having teams fly between countries. I don't know how they're going to get that approved. Yeah. Um, but who knows? I don't think yeah. anybody. Yeah, even I mean, the, the whole sports landscape everywhere, I feel like, is changing yeah. from, I mean, from volleyball out in Germany to, you know, the NFL. I feel like everything is going to be way different. I mean, the Big Ten just said that they're only playing in-conference uh, stuff for the, at least the fall. So, and yeah. But it's changing. It, no, exactly. And I think, like, with the Big Ten, it's, especially in volleyball, like, one of the leagues shuts down. I don't 
like one of the uh, power five conferences shut down, I think the rest will follow. But I, I don't see like, like I, I feel like once you saw that domino effect with the NBA with Rudy Gobert, they shut down and everything kind of went right yeah. after that. I think it'll be the same for volleyball. If you see one major conference shut down, I don't see. And, and I don't think there's like a plan. That's the thing. Like it's like what happens when one gets sick and then another girl gets sick. And then after that, what are they, does the team all have to quarantine then? Right. Like, what does the team quarantine? Yeah. It's, like, it's like what is like, <laughs> Yeah. And that's the thing I think is, I don't know, maybe it just keeps getting pushed back. Hopefully there's a vaccine by like December or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. For, for you guys, how, so the Champions Cup, how does that, are they, what are the precautions they're taking for the ABB? I haven't heard exactly. Yeah. So they're basically, they, they're building a court at the, it's probably two courts. There's probably a side court, right, Travis? Yeah. They have, well, I think there's two, uh, two playing courts and then a, a side court. So they're kind of like a warm up. And okay. they're competing on two. Yeah, and they basically just built it in the middle of a parking lot down in Long Beach at the convention center. Um, wow. It was easier to get permits to do that than it would be to go literally across the street and do it on the beach where we've played a lot of tournaments. Uh, so they built that, and it's just going to be like straight up and down walls with like banners, sponsors, and, you know, all that. And, and uh, AVP is going to run an eight-team main draw 12 team qualifier so top six are automatically into the main draw and then two spots come out of the the 12 team qualifier and then they just run it on amazon prime so it's actually going to be really cool i think it's going to be probably the best um television or live stream coverage that we've ever had and i I can't imagine like you know they're not prepared uh extremely well on amazon and also i think two matches are on nbc um and yeah we're just running it with no fans we have a dj in the booth and then we have Mark on the, <laughs> way up there <laughs> Mark on the mic i don't know what he's, he's just gonna be talking to us like heckling us or something i don't know <laughs> talking about day. Yeah. Just, they, you guys have tested or are you guys like quarantining all together yeah. or so no we're all getting tested every week so we've already gotten two i've gotten tested three times all negative yeah. um, we all been driving down uh, like on Monday, we all drove down to the site and they have like a private company testing everybody, like a drive through test. And then after every tournament, they're going to do that. We're going to, you can only be there an hour and a half before your match. You walk through these areas that's like roped off for your team only. So you're not going to interact with anyone on the way in. Your coach can be on site, but he has to be with you. And then you, play your match and you can only be on site for an hour after I think and they kick you off and you're not really coming in contact with anyone the balls are being sanitized put on a rack in the back and then you go grab the balls so every ball is different and it's fully been sanitized and wow it'll be a little weird but yeah a little different than normal when like you could hit a ball like into like on a on an off court uh like not stadium where you hit a ball and like goes into the crowd and passes like 300 hands and then it gets back to you yeah. <laughs> it's slightly yeah. are different they gonna, are, they, are they gonna pump like stadium noise into it at all or no because i hear like because i hear like like people might be like 2k noises or something <laughs> well we have the, yeah that, i mean that'd be cool uh we have the dj so dj roche is gonna be <clears throat> running laughing louder than he's ever <laughs> yeah. I don't know, like, are you going to be able to hear it on Amazon or NBC or is it their music just for us? Well, I mean, it's kind of, it's kind of funny because, like, in Beach, the crowd is pretty quiet during the plays. And then afterward, like, Jeremy just plays the music so loud anyway that that's all you can really hear above the crowd. So I, I don't really know if it'll sound all that different. I mean, depends, where you play. depends where you play. Because you go over yeah. to, like, the major series in Europe and it's like, they're like dancing the entire time. They all know the same like cheers. And if you get a block, they're all doing like the same mind block. Stuff. Mind block, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you know. Uh, no, nah, it'll be fun though. It'll be different. And uh, honestly, like it won't be that different because we go to all these t- tournaments. Like you go to China and like some of these places where no fans show up. So we're, it's not like we're not used to playing for a lot with nobody watching yeah. until you get to the later rounds um so I, I think we'll get comfortable with it pretty quickly for for you guys if you were to if you guys question for you guys um <laughs> if you were to pick two guys two non-volleyball athletes from any other sport who would you want to play with like your guys partners that's a good question we uh we did like a, a round table game show 
a couple weeks ago with like the McKibbins and Stafford and, and we had a right. we had like a celebrity uh celebrity. partner question and uh, I think Steph Steph Curry was up there uh and but non-athlete though right uh no uh yeah sure go non-athlete that'd be okay. good oh, no. okay that changes I think uh I might have to pull like Vince Vaughn. He's like six five, six six, and looks like a decent athlete. And he'd be funny as hell. <laughs> Who's a an actor that acts like an athlete? I'd say like The Rock or something, but he can't even go. Yeah. Out there. There's no way. Or, oh, oh, maybe, dude, Adam Sandler. That's my pick. He's like he's like the average Joe, like perfect athlete in every movie he's in. Who's <laughs> it? Adam Sandler. Or Owen Wilson. Owen, Owen Wilson would be good. Ben Stiller. My brother and I, we were playing. I think it was our brother and I. It might have been a different partner. We were playing in an open one time, and we were beating this guy in playoffs of a uh, like a it was a open beach tournament up in Santa Cruz. And he was just you could tell he was just dead, and he was starting to kind of slow down, and we were winning by a significant margin, and he had one last. Uh, one last trick up his sleeve, <laughs> just like, and he rips off his pants, and he's sitting there in a speedo, and he's just like, <laughs> and we couldn't even stop laughing the entire time because he's doing those ridiculous. <laughs> so that's why for me, I would if I was like like a celebrity, I'd go like Will Ferrell or somebody. <laughs> just the team, laugh. That that to me is always the, the players who I I can't play with somebody who does that because I could never stop laughing. <laughs> Your job is to make them laugh, take them off their game a little bit. <laughs> like, there's like a same guy who just walks around like Chihuahua in, in like Uggs on the beach, just smoking. <laughs> like <laughs> the beach has some interesting characters, man. The beach, the beach. Oh has, yeah, has some interesting characters. Dude, beach and beaches there. every. I don't know what it is about. Like it's not just beaches in California either. Like either. Like I lived in Florida for a while, and then I, I grew up in Maryland. Oh, I saw the East Coast beaches, and like everywhere you go, it's just like great people watching. You'll just see people. It's just like, what are you doing, man? <laughs> like, what's going I mean, on? I want to be at the beach doing that, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> True. You'll get, like, the same people on the same route. So, like, you start to, like, get to know them. And, like, oh, yeah, the old guy. And there's the old guy that runs by us every day. And every, like, third step, he's like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> All the way down the strand. We just, like, kind of stop. Like, there, there's a, there's one guy at a, a stand, uh, no, Santa Cruz we were playing. And he had this loud boom box. And he plays songs. We just have a drum. He's just, like, kind of, like, overweight guy just with a drum. And then every third beat just. Don't, like, that's like, three hours. <laughs> three hours of, like, shut that guy up. Like, 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 pop music, just, dude. <laughs> three hours. Like, this guy's been here as long as we have. The worst place for me was when I played with Hayden up in um, near Venice Beach. Like, people are insane up there. There's, like, hobos yelling at us, just, like, cussing us out from the strand for no reason. <laughs> Uh, just like the most insane crowds come through that place. <laughs> you guys ever been to Venice? You ever walked there? to play, yeah. but it's that's a wild place. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're not surprised by anything. You see. <laughs> no. There's like entertainers over there, like a guy that's like acting like a statue while we're playing, and the ball's like flying. <laughs> <laughs> really put in the test there. <laughs> right, um, uh, so, did you guys grow up? playing beach and indoor up in santa cruz because i know that they have like a, a fun little beach culture down there too yeah no for sure the uh we during the summers we only played beach growing up when we were in high okay. school middle school high school we only played beach um and we were always partners we have a lot of funny pictures and a lot of funny stories i'm sure he'll tell everyone knows the one story when i threw sand in his face when we were kids <laughs> during you know, the championship so my brother and i we uh, we've like gotten a physical fights in practice, indoor practice before and never in a game that we have, we've gotten close to fighting. Yeah. Like, anybody who knows our relationship knows it. Just let us go. when we start like bickering, even like this weekend, there was one point in one of the matches, we started going at each other and people like want to just separate us. Like you just let us go. We'll like, when we get back, out out. Before, we're fine. Like yeah. <laughs> that's just how we are. Like that's the thing. Uh, people like when we're fighting, people are like usually like and, and, and it's way better now. Like it's way, obviously way better. But there's gonna be some points like you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> um, more him towards me. But anyway, uh, it's but, both ways. Yeah, but I usually don't say anything about it. I just yeah. You give me unless a, you give me a look. I know, like that's true. But unless you're like an a hole the whole time, then I'm not gonna. Like, <laughs> this guy, no matter what, 
But usually it's like, like, I remember sometimes we'll be playing and then people across the like, oh, we got him, we got him, we'll like fight or something. Like it's the total opposite, buddy. Like if we're pissed off, we're just going to go even <laughs> harder. <laughs> like, so like, you're like, oh yeah, we got him fighting. And then goes from like 15, 15, like 20 to 15, just like that. Like because we're like that pissed. Our, yeah. Usually it doesn't work that way. But for us, I guess it just does. I don't know why. My, yeah. my junior year uh, at Hawaii, I was living off camp with some of the guys. He was a freshman that year. But he would still go on game days. He would come for the night before game days. He would come sleep over in my apartment. I just kind of something we did. Yeah. And, uh, and he would come in the morning of Irvine, night one. He, I don't know what it was. He came away. We like, no, it was night two. No, it was, it was night one. Because we lost. Yeah, yeah. That's right. We lost night two. The next morning <laughs> we up. So we just weren't in a good mood. And no, we some, won night one. And then, the, and then we had back to back games going there. Yeah, two. that's right. That's right. And we got into a huge fight. It like just get after, and our teammates were staring at us. We show up to practice, yeah, and we have like bruised and scratches. And Charlie, like, what the? Heck? I had to tell Charlie, I'm like Charlie, this is not a girl. This is my brother. <laughs> <laughs> you know? like, he's like, what on earth happened to you guys? And we're like, don't even ask. We're fine. <laughs> and then I remember, and then there's another fight that year. Um, it was after Long Beach. I remember. So when we played Long Beach my freshman year, my freshman year, my I was a DS, so I'd serve, and then I'd do three rotations in the back row, yeah. right? So I'd do that, and we were up – this is when Long Beach was undefeated, uh, Joe's junior year, and last match of the season – oh, the second to last match of the season, we had back-to-back, and we go, it's 14-12 or 14-11 or 14-12, us in the, in the fifth, and I, and I get subbed in, and I try to rip it, and I serve it in the net. They come back and beat us 18-16. So I was just in a horrible mood. I just didn't want to – I was like, oh, my idiot. <laughs> and, uh, so I go over, go over to sleep, and then Joe was just like, "Way to cost the match." <laughs> <laughs> I thought we just start getting a fist fight that night. <laughs> the next night, the next night, I had, a, I had, a, they had the same opportunity. I think it was yeah. 4, 13, 13, 11. I come in. It was twelve, eleven. I come in, get a point, and then I ace them to make a fourteen, eleven. And then I, I made sure I, I put it was in decent pace. I put it in the last one, and then we end up beating them, and then. Uh, yeah, not the same. And it was seen too. Yeah. So. That, that was, was, that was at the pyramid, right? Different. One more time. That was at Long Beach, right? That was home. No, no, that home. Was home. Okay. Yeah. That how how we talk to each other is way different than we can talk to other teammates. Oh, like, of course. How we talk to each other? <laughs> if 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 we talk to each other like how we do to other teammates, other teammates would just like <laughs> they wouldn't be able to play. Like there's stuff we say under our breath to each other. <laughs> it's fired up. It fires up. We know how to like. Here's the good thing about it though. So it's very well known that if, if you don't do, do do what Joe wants, he's not going to set you because that doesn't. <laughs> if you tip the ball, you're not getting set again. <laughs> Luckily, he doesn't have to set me, so I, sometimes I get away with stuff. Ball has to touch me first, so it's like it's like he is. I'm not I'm not fully under his grasp, but sometimes I'm like Joe, you better be nice to me, or else you're not going to get a pass. <laughs> but luckily, I don't have to get set. You know, <laughs> like one of those things. So I'm I'm kind of in in my mind, I'm in a power uh, a place of power there. <laughs> yeah. Dude, so the first first indoor match, I didn't I didn't play indoor or any volleyball growing up. First indoor volleyball match I'd ever seen was you guys versus Long Beach. Uh, at the pyramid, and uh, I think that was when Joe, you were a junior, maybe. And you can name um, any, you can name any game when we play the pyramid. It's not going to be a good match for us. And <laughs> was, yeah, I think it went the full five sets. And uh, I left, and I was like, "Is that what like all indoor volleyball is like?" And, and no, everyone was like, "No, like that's like the highest level college volleyball you, you'll ever see." Because yeah. it was nuts. Yeah, I mean that's the thing. In like that year, I always say Joe's like TJ, Micah, Kyle. You can go Josh. You can go all yeah. and on. Whoever. I think that was like the best class, like I'm, like like ever in my yeah. Opinion. Like you see that because because I was always playing up. I was always with Joe, and I was always playing up like two right. years high my whole life. So I was there after the aftermath, and I saw everything. And I had never played my own age really my whole life until he graduated. And then I played three years of 18s, and let me tell you, it just got worse and worse each year. <laughs> and then like for example, this year, like like this past year, I mean it was still really good volleyball. There's still really a lot of good volleyball players, but like people ask me like who's a better team? It's like oh our last year team would have kicked our butts, like not even close. Yeah. And, and it'll probably go, I mean, if everyone who graduated, graduated, it'd go down again probably this year. Yeah. Um, that's the thing. And, and that, the unfortunate thing is I haven't seen, a, I mean, I've been spoiled with that class. I feel like sometimes the ball is going down and I'm trying to see where it kind of go. You like see one or two players from each. 
um, yeah. age group, but it's not where it used to be, where it used to be like, okay, there's a handful of people. I mean, look at it. The, on the next um, – the next national team members are all in that like same age group. Yeah. Like, they're all doing up together. And like, it's like, it's kind of sad that like, it's like, like we're kind of just, I don't expect that, but like, I feel like sometimes it like gets worse and worse. It was like, but I mean, I don't know, maybe, maybe you can turn around. I haven't been in the club scene a lot, I guess. So yeah. That's well, just something I've noticed. Yeah. Cause I remember um, everybody always talked about uh, in terms of like indoor players, like TJ DeFalco was like one of the first names mentioned then Michael Ma and uh, Josh Tuaniga. And then, but when I saw you guys play, it's like, damn, Hawaii setter is dishing. Like, yeah. You were flowing because Katie Spieler was um, pretty good friends with her. And, and she loves you guys, by the way, it has like nothing yeah. but the best words to say. Yeah, and awesome. she, and she was always saying like Hawaii setter is like, people have to watch him. And then I watched you guys play long beach. It's like, yeah. <laughs> that's <exactly. laughs> makes sense yeah and that's i mean that's the thing and then you see all the other people in that class where like, they got overshadowed sometimes you're like wow that's so nuts it's just yeah. crazy i mean but that's how volleyball works i guess kind of in waves so just kind of waiting for that for sure. well, again. i mean it's anything like the, the trial like, they grew up with the kibbins crowd yeah. like, that whole kind of group there yeah uh, from hawaii just like a ridiculous group um, and uh, you guys just wrote a book on that, yeah? Or try, you just wrote a book. Yeah. I, well, I heard about, yeah. <laughs> Everybody will check the book out. Team effort. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Thanks for the plug. Do you guys, uh, ever, do you guys ever get out to Outrigger? Because that's kind of yeah, like we where. Oh, there. yeah. We, okay. are always okay. we love Baby Court. Baby yeah. Court's so fun. So the, the book is like based around the Baby Court and tries, it's like a fictionalized look at Tri's childhood. So I think you guys would probably get a kick out of it then. Yeah, oh, we'd love sure. going to baby court, and then we'd find, like, one of the uncles to take us out, canoe surfing, yeah. all these after. <laughs> <laughs> they just around, just go out. But it helps. With, it helps. Luckily, if we're winning a lot, people are a lot more courteous. And like, yeah, Hawaii, yeah. Out, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when UH is winning, they're a, lot, they're a lot more likely to take us out. <laughs> yeah, because we always had a few teammates that remember, so we'd always go. It was nice. Yeah. Um, it was it was cool for me to see you guys doing well, like to see the University of Hawaii men's team doing well. Because, I mean, I grew up obviously a huge UH fan. My dad played football there, sister played um, soccer there, and my mom te teaches at um, University Lab School, so like the elementary high school that's right across the street. She's taught there my whole life, and she's still there. Uh, so I grew up on that campus, and and I hadn't seen. I always kind of wish I went to UH because I wanted to like play for my home state and the, and the school that I always wanted to uh, represent. Right. And I know it's so much different in Hawaii. Like you play good at USC. Okay. You're good in the volleyball community, but not in LA, not in right. around the campus and in that Same particular thing, community. Yeah. But in Hawaii, it's like, if you guys are good, you're in the front page of the paper. If we're good, which we were at USC, we ain't getting on the newspaper, that's for sure. You know, <laughs> no, one, no one's – maybe we get a little ticker tape there. Yeah, no, that but, was, uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's super cool. No, I was thinking, yeah, that was the thing is, like, my senior year last year when kind of everything was going well, really well for us, and I'd have – I had a bunch of family friends coming out because it was our, my last year. The last year we'd be playing together. There'd people coming in, like, anywhere you go. Like, last year when we were kind of on that one run, anywhere you, you, you go, you just be – you get stopped all the time. And even like construction work, we'd be walking the construction workers would be yelling at us. Like everyone knows how <laughs> like breaking there. a traffic block. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. like, for me, it was awesome because I, I hadn't seen the men's program do really well since like, I want to say like the Tony Ching days, like yeah. when they had Costas and all those guys when I was like, because that was the guy that I kind of looked up to growing up or we all did, Tony and, and that whole crew. He's the man. That was like what, 2003 or something? Yeah, yeah, early two thousands. He came. He was uh. He came by everyone. So he's the man. Though. He played them. Yeah, yeah. He's so cool. Yeah, he, Tony's awesome. We got, I got to. We were lucky because he would come out and play um, beach with us. As when we were in high school, he was in college, or like actually he was out of college by then. Uh, and then I I ended up playing overseas in Puerto Rico for a little while, and that was his last year. So I got to play him professionally as well. Well, awesome. But he's he's kind of a legend. But no, nah, it was cool. It was really cool to see you guys, like, especially making the national championship, repping the old rainbow logo. I was like, yeah. man, I wish I was a part of this team. <laughs> yeah. You guys it look like you was like, Yeah, I, I was talking, uh, you talk with all kind of the local kids. Like, like, that's the coolest thing right now is, like, all the local kids now, they wanted, like, they really want to stay. Um, that's awesome. 
and Char and Charlie always like makes sure that we always that he he always talks about he wants to go after like all the top local kids and now like it's hard like I remember my freshman year and sophomore year we were almost I could have sworn we almost like maybe not struggling but we like to get more players like we wanted to, we need some more players we're having like tryouts to bring out more guys and now he has to like push guys away almost to come uh because like everybody's trying to so it's the program just kind of like the the complete and I wouldn't say 180 from when I got there um my freshman year but it's definitely different like the, the vibe how everybody like views the volleyball team and everything is like completely different it's super cool like you're saying it's just playing in Hawaii the, the baby everything the volleyball culture there is just unbelievable we we always coach now uh with different clubs I worked with Spike and serve my senior year um but we would I remember we have a outrigger we were helping out with uh, our coeds and we love just helping out the local kids because they all come to the games and it's like such a cool volleyball community there um being able to work with the kids there I love there's so much talent right now in Hawaii I was telling that like I was working with setters and hitters and at like 14 to 18 year old girls and boys and I was telling Charlie I was telling Robin I'm like, Certain kids, like you guys need to get on these kids because they're going to be swooped up here by Pac 12 schools and yeah. stuff uh, soon. So, um, like, volleyball in Hawaii has uh, got a lot, uh, a lot of potential and a lot of really solid talent coming up. Yeah. Did you guys grow up going to Hawaii? Because I'm curious, because like you talk about going to Outrigger and the Baby Court, but I know you're, you're from uh, Moraga, right? Yeah. So, it kind of crazy. Which, Not a lot of people know this. Is We were born in Missouri. Okay. Moved to Oahu for two and a half years. Moved to upstate New York for nine. Moved to Moraga, California, okay. basically San Francisco Bay Area. Yeah. Since 2010, and then we went back to UH. Um, so my dad was born in Honolulu. His whole family's from there. Uh, and so we always had that kind of influence. Um, and that kind of we always had that kind of like uh, culture and the same uh, – the, so we we understood kind of everything going forward when we yeah were in the recruiting process uh we were really familiar with the program and the state and kind of how everything works there um but yeah we it, it's so it's so cool uh and i he gets one more year of it but yeah i mean when you, when you leave it you, you realize even more like how special it is that's easy like when you're there you're like oh this is awesome but then you yeah. leave it geez like there's no place other <laughs> no place else like this like in the world yeah, it's fun doing uh, like seeing how much towns because like Hawaii doesn't have professional sports, so like the University of Hawaii is like the team that everyone cares about. Like, right. It's so fun going to those towns to like be around their colleges. I remember going down. I did a story on Emily Maglio. I don't know if you guys yeah. have crossed paths. She's one of my yeah. best friends in Hawaii. Yeah, yeah, and she she's like a celebrity because I was just like walking around and people were like, "Mags, like, what's up, Em?" And and Emily, she's like the quietest person you'll ever meet, and she's like, "Hey," you know. But yeah. everyone knew her, and uh, like all the athletes in Hawaii are like total celebrities, which it's pretty cool. Actually, not all that different from like a Wisconsin, where like yeah. I'm sure you guys saw everyone was wearing like Wisconsin Badger stuff. Yeah. yeah. So it had to be yeah. fun. Yeah. Like it has to be fun to compete in a place like that. Oh yeah. You definitely like walk outside and like, let's say if you're around. So I live with um, some non volleyball friends and uh, I'll tell kind of two stories of this or two sides yeah. of it. And you go and, and I'm walking outside my boys and then I'm like, Oh, they're like, hey, I'm like, Hey, and like, Gage. like, I'm like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, shut up guys. Like get out of here. <laughs> and then, and then we'll be rolling it, and because our dad owns a club up Pacific Rim, we'll be rolling at uh, Nationals. I'll be with my team, either younger or older, it doesn't matter. And, and some some kind of know, like, the, the, I guess the status, I guess, if you will, in the bubble world that we hold. And some of them don't. And then we go in there, and then, like, we get recognized. Like, it's a sub along that's uh, sub along with that. And I'm like, Gage, big celebrity, Gage. I'm like, we're right, <laughs> right in the Hawaiian. We love running the Hawaiian teams at Nationals. When yeah. we would go, like, when I, we were at UH, uh, we'd go to Nationals with our dad's club. And the Hawaiian teams, they're just awesome. They're super cool. We love running all the Because we, we work with a lot of them. Because we also coach yeah. at a club called Spike and Serve down there. And a lot of really good talent over there. So, like, we see them. They're always at Nationals. We're always really, really close to them. And, heck, I mean, we'll, we'll be coaching them. And then. Actually, we've been coaching so long that I'll be playing against. There's a guy named uh, Mix who played in our club when we coached since he was like 14. He's going to BYU. And uh, I'm going to be teammates with uh, a guy named Makua, who I guess helped with practice, kind of coached a little. Um, 
He's now a freshman at Hawaii. So we're getting, we've been coaching a while and because of our dad and because of that's our background volleyball wise, we're now we're, we've coached against now who we're playing. Against. So it's definitely like, super, <laughs> that's just kind of surreal kind of in that, in that moment. Mm-hmm. Like, so it'll be a good thing. Cause I know their weaknesses, you know, I know what they want to do. <laughs> so, um, it was, it was just another kind of texture to that uh, relationship now. So it'll yeah. be, it'll be good. It's, it's funny. My, um, so my wife plays, she ended up winning the grass tournament on the women's side, but so she played at Pepperdine and then she coaches there, but she has to play against all of her players all the time. Right. She knocked out three straight Pepperdine girls in one qualifier <laughs> like two years ago. And she's like, I taught you everything good, you know, so you're, you're not going to beat me. Yeah. <laughs> Just, yeah, just make sure you do this shot a lot. <laughs> That's the key right there. Yeah. Yeah. Thing, like, like Michael Ma is on the national team playing pro. Are you the same age as him, Joe? Yeah, 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 he and I are the same age. Like, when I was a Grom playing on the baby car with my friends, like, Michael would come up because his obviously he comes from a huge volleyball family and we all, like, bow down to Pono. And, uh, he would come up and he'd be peppering with uh, whatever his buddies. Like, damn, that kid's gonna be so good. He's just he's like three feet tall. <laughs> now it's like that yeah. kid is one of the best players in the world, and we're all professionals now at this point. Like, how the hell did time yeah. go by that quickly? He, yeah. he was like just the smallest little grom when we were playing, and yeah, it well, quick. <laughs> yeah, that's, I mean. You think that you think of the age difference is really not that big, especially when you're like, especially if you're like good and you stick around the game for a while. You see yeah, people yeah. who you see their whole careers kind of go up. And I'm not at, I mean, I'm not that at the stage or age yet, but I know that people that I know now are definitely going to be like you said. You recognize them early, and then all of a sudden it's just like, you know, yeah. you see the future of volleyball right there. So it's a surreal yeah. moment kind of thing. Yeah. I played with uh, John Hyden right out of. Uh, right after I stopped playing Indra, I was like 23, I think, 23, 24. He's 17 years older than me, and he had played in the, he played on the U.S. national team in the '96 Olympics. <laughs> he was my partner for four years. I was like, dude, I was seven, and you were playing in the Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> trying to go to the Olympics still, like he's been doing it that long. It's insane. It's like Le- it's like LeBron James and his kid. Like, imagine playing with or against your kid. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like swatting <laughs> to teach them. <laughs> Just like throwing subtle shade at the dinner table. It's like that's right. <laughs> that could happen. Uh, but yeah, good. What were you saying, Trey? No, I was just saying that could actually happen. Yeah, yeah, which is nuts. First time ever. Yeah. So crazy. Um, Joe, I'm, I'm curious, cause you mentioned that you kind of saw like Hawaii do something of a 180 while you were there, when you committed to go to Hawaii, like, did you see like from your class and the way that they were recruiting, um, that that was possible or did that come even as a surprise to you? Cause like Hawaii, I mean, you guys were what, undefeated your senior year for a while. Yeah, we, we were under, yeah, undefeated kind of last weekend we played out Long Beach. Um, yeah. And so we when I committed there though to be I was like very skeptical when I first committed yeah because I had gone on four visits it was Hawaii, Pep, UCLA, Ohio State were the four visits I took okay really the other three Pep and Ohio State were like oh uh, yeah you might be able to set as you come but probably gonna be playing libero for us uh UCLA was pretty locked in on having me play libero um and then Hawaii, he was like, I'll get, he's like, you'll be one of the setters on the roster. But even then, he wasn't like, you're going to be this set. We're gonna, you're right. going to be the guy. Like, he wasn't telling me that. Nobody was telling me that. And I got on there, and uh, the, at the, the program at the time was they – it was right before 2050. So they hadn't even made the NCAA tournament in a while. Um, it wasn't until after I committed that they did. And, but I, just, I didn't know a lot of guys there. Um, I, I didn't know a lot about the school, to be honest, like the, the academic part of it. Yeah. Um, and I kind of, it was a last second kind of decision, to be honest, that I went to UH. But they were only giving me my shot. My dad's like, hey, you, like, I've never, the only time I played libero was with the two youth national teams. It was for like two weeks at a tournament. Yeah. And I never considered myself a, like a high goal. I don't know. I'd never passed. <laughs> I played it because, I, I mean, our whole lives, we always have been trained, like, ball, we, we were trained all around players. And so 
we hit, we passed and everything in practice in club and stuff, just because that's how our dad trained us. But it wasn't like I was doing libero training ever. And I never felt right. I was, I, was going up, <laughs> I walked into world championships in 2015. I was going up against, if you look right now at the Polish national team, those guys are on the team. And they're like some of the best servers in the world, in the Polish league. And I was passing. I never passed. And I was like, <laughs> and I'm like, uh, <laughs> I was sitting back and I'm like, please serve TJ, please serve TJ, please serve TJ. <laughs> um, and, uh, and so, like, when I was going through my process, I'm like, you know, I, I'm a setter. I know I can set at the next level. I, work, I need to work uh, my butt off to get to that point. I know I still have a lot of work to do. Um, but Hawaii is the one that gave me the, at least an open door. Uh, yeah. Gave me an opportunity. And to be honest, to this day, Charlie uh, talks pretty highly, uh, both my brother and I. But I know, like, if I came in my junior year and I, we went 500, then we would have been like, yeah straight back to <laughs> but even like when I started playing and I was back on the and I was on the floor I still had like all I always felt like I had to earn my spot there and prove um even though this thing like I'm always I no matter every time I go to a new team every time I go to a new program because of my size or whatever I always am having to prove um uh Frustrate. myself again like I'm back you're back to ground zero all the time um whether it's when I go overseas or when I'm whatever the whatever like I'm always having that and so that mindset's always been with me and especially even like this past weekend like like I was saying nobody like we walk in and everybody was at the, at the cha- after we won I think I may have had this on video after we won <laughs> we're like we're like what'd you guys who are you guys we go yeah, the yeah, bar, yeah they didn't believe the that we won the tournament we won the they're like who are you guys and they're like uh we won they're like what division you win? And they're like, <laughs> like we we won open, we won. And they're like, what's your last name? <laughs> so like, <laughs> we're, like, we're like, dude, like I'm like, and I'm like, I have like, I know we're kind of under assuming, but we act, we actually got like, <laughs> like the court's right there. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, just, you guys are probably like limping up to the bar too. Yeah, oh <laughs> my god, dude! After so we had played in Coeds, didn't go well. Uh, Joe and I kind of <laughs> we were beat up. We played in Coeds the next day. We didn't really. We didn't play our best lineup. If if Joe, if Joe and I played together in that, I think we could have won it again. Yeah. Uh, but but we were just so beat up. I remember Dalton had a sprint ankle. We were all just like so beat up, like incredibly beat up. I have yeah. blisters every single yeah, on my toes. Same. Blood blisters <laughs> everywhere. I had a toe that's – I had – this is kind of gross. But I have a toe that's completely black, <laughs> and it had a huge blister on the top of it as well. So it was like, I was like limping everywhere, and, uh, <laughs> and my hair was crazy. I was like walking and I was a team captain. So I had to walk all the way to the tent and all the way back. I was just kind of like limping like this. And everyone was just kind of laughing at me because they said I looked like a hobo. <laughs> <laughs> and the first thing when we got there, here comes like the champions. Like the, we were joking around. It was me, Joe, and Dalton like limping to the medical tent. Medical <laughs> 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 tent. It just got kind of iced up. Um, it was kind of cool because like people were like, oh, great game yesterday. And they're like, thank you. Thank-. It was like, like our voice was gone. Everything was just. Just imagine just getting all the way, or like if we were like, dang, man, if we went all the way to championship, did all that stuff, and then lost. Yeah. And all that, just, yeah. <laughs> Are you guys recovered yet? Because like I'm still sore from it, and we played yeah, we played beach too. So we had we had two days, two pretty full days of beach. Which I don't know if you saw the courts, but they were basically just like mud, clay, clay. So, yeah. The, the Friday we kind of we went by really quick. We went by the venue for like 20 minutes, and I yeah. remember the first court I walk out, I just see a guy die. Land is a splat. splat. Yeah. <laughs> what are they playing on? Yeah, dude, it was crazy. Try it, like, so it it monsoon for like ten hours on Thursday. I saw your Instagrams. Yeah, and uh, so it was like standing. You were playing in puddles on some of the courts, and uh, so you would like Rafi declared that he wasn't diving. Like that was his thing. He's like, I'm not, I'm not diving in that. But once you got muddy, it was like pretty fun. But you would dive and just like there was no give. You just like stopped. It was like you dove on like asphalt. <laughs> I'm pretty glad that we didn't show up. <laughs> yeah, uh, we had to move courts four times oh, yeah. um, in our A first play. So and then we went. Eventually, we we started when we ended up where we played where we played you guys. We ended up at yeah. where we were at. We started like where the main stuff was, and then we went all the way down because it was kind of uh, edge and I guess better grass or whatever dried quicker. Yeah. Um, so we ended up all the way over there. But I remember we wore white tank tops. Do we have a white tank here? 
here, can you get the white tank tops? I'm going to start with, this is after it's washed. <laughs> and, we're like, and then I was like, I was like, you know what? I was like, this is going to be actually kind of good publicity. So I get, a, if we do well, I get a dirty, everyone's going to be like, oh my God, look at that tank top. And they'll see it. And it'll like, yeah. it'll go off. <laughs> this is what my tank top looks like after it's washed here. Can you guys see this? <laughs> yeah. Can you, can you see the dirt on it? Oh this yeah. It's hard to washed. see. It's yeah. completely, I think it's is, still dirty. It looks beige. Yeah. It's like, this is pure <laughs> white. You can't really see how dirty it is, but it's like, so, oh, this is Joe's. Mine was a little dirty, but it's okay. But it's like that bad. Um, <laughs> wait, I might do it again. It's like, it's all I got to cook out of buddy. Just like seeing <laughs> Literally the first play, we're diving in mud. Throughout the day, it got a lot better. And the first play, I just dove in mud and I was like, all right, well. <laughs> Yeah, well, had, had you ever played grass before because our, our court i think was like similar to yours but we were playing on like a slope yeah and it, it was soaking wet and so like you couldn't even approach like i i slipped and fell out trying to hit a jump serve right, and I, right. I just tomahawked it over like second serve of the day it was like the most unathletic i've ever felt in my life yeah. for me <laughs> like what so when i told we we like never we never we even we played in a grass tournament when we were like 10 and 11. Okay. No, we played in high school when we were – actually, we played a bunch of the Ohio State, like, D1 players, and we played two-man grass at our local – Oh, nice. So, so our high school tournament used to host a lot of, like, two-man grass tournaments. Like, and it was actually pretty decent. And we played when they were in high school. A bunch of, like, a couple of D1 players came, and we actually beat them in, in the <laughs> nice. final. <laughs> um, but that was, like, sophomore year of high school. And yeah. for me, for playing grass, I we Micah Ma'a called us today. He was talking about kind of the weekend. He watched a little bit of the video. And we're all kind of in the same boat about this. When you, when you say you're playing grass, you bring that up. Like, a lot of players or athletes, like, oh, like, you just – like, the first thing they think about is, like, injuries or, like, the unsafe. But that's, like – we love that part of it. Like, having to, like, adapt to that and be, yeah. like, create new just ways. Gritty. To, yeah. Gritty. And create new ways to win and, like, be – like, that type of level playing the – I don't know. Like, our personalities, we just, like, love playing in anything. And that, that environment, we love playing in. We're not, like, super picky about stuff. And we just love the grass games. It's so creative. Yeah, and it allows you to do thing, different things, and it's not, there's no system to it. It's like <laughs> figure out the best way to win. <laughs> right. Every every team there was doing a different was having a different system. Yeah. You know, indoor it's like there's some teams that's very systematic. Um, on the beach, it allows more creativity. It's similar in that way, but I think like grass is a combo of both. Really, three man. It's the that's speed the of the offense of the yeah. indoor team, um, and kind of the beach. The defense is more on the beach side, I would say. Yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, it's just kind of volleyball at its finest. Like, yeah, at a lot of it. We're, just that's like, what, we yeah. were on the phone with the, when we were on the phone with Mike today. We were just talking about like it's the funnest kind of style. He's been playing a lot of like forest grass, uh, sand, and he's yeah. doing the same thing like that. That style of volleyball is like the most fun to play. It's the most enjoying or enjoy uh, that you'll have, I think. And it's also this. Here's the thing for like because I really don't. The last time we played beach was like two years ago, kind of around there. Well, we yeah. play a lot of beach court. We play a lot of baby. Like, court. Actual, <laughs> serious, so we don't play a lot of we don't play a lot of serious sand, uh, beach, okay. but baby court. I only play baby court. He's <laughs> lazy, so that's another reason why. I'm not lazy. I'm just, I'm it helps. Don't get me wrong, but he's like, I don't want to play a full, you know, full court. <laughs> <Thank here."> you. <laughs> um, but the thing is, it's also kind of like with your, when you're with your partner, right? It's kind of a partnership. But when you get to like three or four, it's more of a team, right? And then once you reach kind of the three, that's when it kind of turns into a team. And right once you start adding more people, it's more of a team, but the dynamic is way closer between you three. If you have a good team, luckily, like our Hawaii teams have always felt like a really small team, even though we had big numbers. Yeah. We were all super, super close. But even with threes, like you just, you're three out there and you feel just connected. Twos, like I like it, but it just feels like a partnership and you're still really close to that person. But threes and like fours, you feel like a full team and, and it gets higher for me. And that's kind of how I viewed it. It was just like, Super, super sick out there. It was just yeah. fun to kind of. Yeah, I don't think anyone had more fun than you guys this weekend. Yeah. <laughs> it, winning is fun, I'll tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> winning helps. Winning helps. <laughs> oh, for sure. Um, yeah, we like this. We were just like, I switched to the right side and the left, and then we were – because the, the day before. So you guys know Dave Weissork, the outside of Pepper Night? Yeah, yeah. So I kid you not. Two days before we go over, um, we go over to scrimmage him. Yeah. Him and a, and a retired and a guy who used to play college, he's about a year out, hasn't played, and a six or seventeen year old <laughs> libero go to Penn State. By us. We got whooped, <laughs> whooped, and these guys are kicking our butt. We're like, man, we suck. We're not gonna. Play. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to get out of it. We My suck, brother man. and I have a tendency we lose always in training, like right before, and it, it, it's not good for our confidence. Like, <laughs> it's not gonna be good. We always lose in training. We have this, like, I don't know what it is. Yeah. 
yeah, we must do a good job figuring it out because something <laughs> something worked on Saturday. <laughs> something, yeah. We just picked the right day. Like I said, bomb serves and just try and dig and try and hit off that. There, it was hard. It was like some of those blockers. Our out shoulders, there. like he was saying by the final, if you look, we're barely jumping and our shoulders are just like, that's like a taping. Just like you know? dangling them out. <laughs> like, come on, we just need one run here with our serves. <laughs> I think went three, man. I mean, I'm sure we, we saw a really good shot, but, like, my legs was, like, literally, like, shaking by the yeah, end. Yeah, definitely helped that you put it away in two. <laughs> oh, gosh. I, yeah, I, thought, I thought Tim's last block went down. I didn't know it snuck so did under I. I was so shy. I was like, we did it. Like, we won. Yeah. And then I saw, <laughs> I saw Tim's reaction. I was like, oh, that snuck. I, I thought that he put it down. That was the key, I think. I wasn't going to no run, but I'll tell you that. I, know, that was, I had no run. Um, either through you or cutting or just getting blocked. There was, yeah. like, there was right that I got blocked so many times. Luckily. Um, Sorry, was there, was there some prize money in there? Yeah. Uh, so I, I'm not able to accept it, though. Right. You can't collect. Yeah. Right. So yeah, I, I can't collect that. I can't. I can't. I cannot. So, um, so <laughs> what happens now is I just kind of give all the money to them. I mean, his big brother gets it. <laughs> he does. Us three spread it out. Yeah. Kind so of spread it. Well, we had like four or five people. We had a six man team. <laughs> hey, guys, drop. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Next year, we have to bring like 10 guys to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think it was I think it was a three grand split for the winners, though. Um, or at least that's what I think that's what Delaney came home with. So I'll, st- I'll stoke they won. Oh, <laughs> 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 She's paying for the night, yeah. She's going out. Yeah, she's picking up food right now. <laughs> Get that tournament money. I like that. Right? Yeah. But no, it was – I never even heard of that tournament until Dalton a month before, a month and a half, asked us to be part of it. I Yeah, I'd heard of it, but I didn't realize exactly, like, what it was and how, like, big it was or whatever. Yeah. Over there, it's like – they all say it's a holiday. Yeah. Uh, it's like a big event uh, over there, so – pretty cool no it's it's a sweet i uh any volleyball player needs to get there i i would say just to see kind of the environment yeah that's what uh because so uh, katie uh katie played last year and, and she got second on grass and she was like we won the beach and no one really cared she's like everyone just goes for the grass and uh because we went thinking that we were probably just gonna play sand and then if we were feeling all right play grass but then i saw like it was huge they had like 190 some courts set up i was like all right well might as well just join the party. Yeah. <laughs> and everybody's like, oh, yeah, it's a small year. I'm like, they're, like, building it down to the next spot. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Are you guys had to see? It's kind of embarrassing. I'm like, <laughs> if you cut out from here to here, that's, that's the most, of course, I've ever seen. Like, <laughs> yeah. it's like, six courts, yeah, that's probably the most I've ever seen. Yeah, it was, it was nuts. But it's like a holiday for, for Wisconsinites, though. You are now. Yeah. Cool. That must be you know, I know. But yeah. Um, well, I know you guys have a podcast that uh, I want to make sure that, uh, or you have like a show. Yeah. Is it a podcast or is it, or is it's it like just a, like a, a YouTube a, thing? Uh, yeah, we do like edit. So basically, right now we're getting into more like video content. So we have okay. a whole vlog from this weekend and we're getting that. It's a three part vlog. Nice. Um, and we, I don't know, there's a bunch of different ideas we have. And it, like one of the things we do, we shoot a podcast usually like once a week, well, sort of like this. We have a guest on. Um, but we're trying to, I don't know, which we, we like trying to expand guests past volleyball too. Uh, but we, yeah, like right now we're doing a lot of work on our like video content. Um, and we're trying to, we're trying to do that type of stuff and learn about different things. Uh, maybe do like prank stuff. I don't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We've been talking, talking about it. We'll see though. I don't know. I, yeah. There's, we have a- age streaks while packing. <laughs> 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 well, where can where can our listeners find you guys then, uh, so they can give you guys a follow? Yeah, out of system. Uh, we have uh, Instagram, we have a TikTok. Uh, we're we're learning more about TikTok, <laughs> but YouTube also just out of system is the name of it. Um, okay. And yeah, that'd be awesome. We we appreciate that. Um, yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah, so, well, the sun's coming in here. Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah no, you're good. I, I I like saw it like starting to come over, but uh, yeah, yeah. we appreciate you guys taking so much time. I'm sure. Uh, Heck of a busy weekend. If you're yeah, we're still, yeah, we're still recovering a little bit. We oh, just bet. kept it a little bit today, but besides that, we, off. we had to kind of like uh, take a take a little bit off and let our blisters heal. There's <laughs> 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 so, but people were telling us like, "What you guys should go play ADB?" I'm like, "We would get killed on mm-hmm. ADB." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> like, me like blocking like that? Double block? <laughs> yeah, baby court pro tour? Baby court tour? Baby court tour? Oh we're God. in, we're bombing we're in if we're going baby court tour. You <laughs> that needs to start. <laughs> I'm in. I'm sure there's a lot of people who are in on that. I'm sure you like Mike Christian, all those guys that stopped playing pro. If there is a baby court tour, there's a lot of guys who just quit. Like, I'm going Sign them up. <laughs> That'd be sweet. That's a good idea. There's a there's actually like a annual tournament on the baby yeah. court at Auriger every year by a few of the the OGs who are a bit older than us. They have like a full like championship belt and everything. Like <laughs> I bet they're totally sober, just like <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> burying the burying the cooler, hiding it under the trash can. Yeah. That's, smart. Smart. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. That's super cool. Yeah. Well, boys, we uh, we appreciate you taking so much time. Uh, Gage, good luck down in Hawaii when uh, when it, when if you, you get to go down there and and Joe, you're leaving for Germany in a couple weeks, yeah? Three supposedly, yeah, three weeks. I'm supposed okay. to be leaving, so we'll see. But all right, let's ride this momentum out. Let's keep it yeah, going. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> good luck with you. I hope. I mean, I hope everything goes well for you guys. I know, like, uh, it's cool that the beach community got got something going. We're for sure gonna be checking out. We'll be watching everything going on. With, the AVP. Um, we're excited to see some more, some live volleyball finally here. Oh, yeah. Live pro volleyball. Yeah, Love try it. a couple days. Let's go. Let's go. Boys. Back to work. <laughs> finally. Back to work. All right, All boys. Right. Shoots. Shoots, Shoots guys. Take care. Thank you so much. Yeah.